When life gives you lemons, you've got to make these absolutely delicious lemon bars. Hi, and you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, You'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. To get started, you're going to line a 9 by 13 inch baking tray with parchment paper and you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And then you're going to sift together two cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of cornstarch. By adding cornstarch, we're going to get a nice crispy biscuit at the bottom. And to sweeten it up, we're going to add 2 third cup of confectioner's sugar or icing sugar. And now let's add half a teaspoon of salt to it. I always like to sift it so that you don't have any lumps because we're using cornstarch and icing sugar, which both have a tendency to have lumps in it. Sifting the ingredients together is also going to help to get them well combined. And can you see all those lumps over there? So we're going to take our spatula and just break them down. And now to get that lovely flaky buttery biscuit, we're going to go in with 3 4 cup of room temperature unsalted butter. Now using our spatula, we're just going to work the butter into the flour. Now you could do this in a food processor or a stand mixer, but I just prefer doing it by hand with a spatula. Using the back of the spatula, you're going to press the flour into the butter as you go. Now what you're looking for is for it to come together to a wet sand like texture. And finally I like to go in with my fingers and make sure that the butter and the flour has got well incorporated. And this is what you're looking for, a wet sand like texture. You could add some vanilla extract into this, but we're going to have such a lot of the lemon flavor going on that I just prefer it without the extract. Now we're going to toss this all into our baking tray. And we're going to use a spatula and just distribute it right across the baking tray. And once you've got an even surface, you're going to go in with either your fingers or if you have a fondant smoothener, you can just start pressing it down and packing it up. And if you're interested in purchasing this fondant smoothener, I'll leave the link in the description box below. When leveling it out, try to make sure that you get an even layer of the biscuit at the bottom. The biscuit is looking well packed and level. Now we're going to go in with a toothpick and start piercing some holes into it. This is going to prevent it from bubbling up while it's in the oven. And then you have a nice smooth surface to the biscuit. This goes into the oven for 20 minutes because we're only going to half bake it. We'll complete baking it once we put the lemon curd on the top. While we have the biscuit base in the oven, Let's prep our lemon curd filling. To make the lemon curd, we're going to go in with some lemon zest and lemon juice, of course. So here's a tip. Always zest the lemons before you juice it. When zesting, make sure only to get the top skin and not to get the white portion inside because that's going to make it a little bitter. We are looking for two tablespoons of lemon zest and it all depends upon the size of the lemons. These are pretty big. I think we need to zest about three of them. Make sure to wash the lemons before you zest them. The microplane is such a handy tool. It's so useful for zesting lemons, oranges, and even for grating nutmeg. And if you're interested, I will leave the link in the description box below. And we're going to add the lemon zest to three cups of sugar. Yeah, the sugar might sound a little bit much, but then it's going to balance off when we add in the lemon juice. Just going to give this a quick whisk. And then we're going to go in with our hands and mix it all together. Now with clean hands, we're going to go in and work the lemon zest with the sugar. This is going to help all the oils from the lemon zest flavor the sugar. And you're going to get that lovely citrus flavor to the sugar. And the sugar is going to turn from a white to a lemon color. Now this is looking just perfect. I'm going to transfer the sugar into a bigger bowl because we've got to add some more ingredients to it. And to that we're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour, a generous pinch of salt, and we're going to whisk it till it gets well combined. 
Now we're going to make a little well in the center. And now we're going to add six large eggs. And one egg yolk. We're going to whisk this together. Be very gentle when whisking. You don't want to incorporate too much of air into it. We gotta add one cup of lemon juice to this. So let's keep this aside and juice the lemons. We're gonna start by juicing the lemons we had already zested. Press it down and gather all the juice inside the container. The number of lemons that you need is gonna all depend upon the size of the lemon and how soft the lemons are. The softer the lemons, the more juice you're going to get. To make sure we don't have any seeds inside or get any of the juice sacs, we're going to pass it through a sieve. You don't want all this in your lemon curd. And now gently whisk it and bring it all together. This is such a lovely springtime dessert to make. The biscuit has baked just perfect where we want it. It's got a little golden color to it with a little browning at the edge. It's a little bit warm right now, but it's okay for us to pour on the lemon curd and put it back in the oven to bake. And you don't have to bother about leveling it. It's going to find its level. Now here's a little step that I like to do is to take a toothpick and just run it around inside without piercing the biscuit bottom. And this is going to take out any air pockets that may be there in the lemon curd. If you see any bubbles on the top, just prick them with the toothpick to release the air from inside. Back into the oven, this goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And we're going to bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the lemon curd has set. What I like to do is to rotate the baking tray halfway through the baking time. Another tip here is that if you find that the top is browning, but you want that nice pale color, put an aluminum foil on the top and allow it to continue baking. Well, this has baked just perfectly. Now we're gonna allow the lemon bars to cool completely till they come to room temperature. Then we're gonna refrigerate them for about three to four hours before we cut them and then dust them with some confectioner's sugar. It's been about four hours since the lemon bars have been in the fridge, so they've had enough time to chill and firm up. Now let's unmold it and cut it. We're going to use these overhangs to release it from the bottom. And it becomes easy when you have these overhangs to pull it up. Just a little pressure and it comes up. And we're going to use these overhangs to lift it up. And there you go. Just going to pull that down very gently. for this to sets. So that we get nice clean bars, I always like to cut off the edges. I'm going to use a damp paper towel to just wipe out the edge so we get a clean cut every time. Now we're going to go and cut it into smaller squares. We're going to cut it first down the center, cleaning the edge of the knife once again so we get clean cuts. You can make them as big or as small as you like. I'm just going to cut them into medium sized squares. And to finish it off, we're going to dust on some confectioner sugar. The confectioner sugar, besides giving it that lovely clean finish on the top, is also going to help to balance off the tart that you get from the lemon bars. A point to remember here is that the confectioner sugar should be dusted on just before you serve it. Otherwise, it's going to get soaked up into the lemon bars and then you're going to have to dust on more. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now you know, it's my favorite time. It's time to give the lemon bars a taste. So come on, let's go ahead and give one a taste. Wow, can you see that? Mmm. Wow, that biscuit was so nice. You get that little crunch and it's so soft, it just melts in your mouth. And I love the lemon curd. It's got that perfect balance of a little tartness and sweet to it. You've got to give this recipe a try because I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So head on to my website, platingitwithwendy.com. 
where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.